freezing cold when you don't bring a towel. That's what happens when you're not very smart. Uh, but we've got a drone for our intro. So let's see if we can make one happen. How do you feel about that last dive? Do you want some quells? Yeah, Seasickness I do, girl. I do. <laughs> Sadly, I do, I do. All I right. do. I'm gonna take some action. <laughs> so we've got Tuan and Eric together. I mean, at this point, I might as well start a diving club. <laughs> but <laughs> conditions look pretty calm today. We're all suited up. We got Tuan and his setup all ready to Yo. go. My setup and then Eric. How are we feeling about the dive today, Tuan? Dude, diving is always good, man. Whenever you get a chance to go in the water, it's, you know, it's a blessing. Any goals for today? Yep. Catch uh, 10 cabins on because that's what the limit. So, <laughs> you know, that's what we're going to go for. All right. Eric? Yeah. Uh, yeah, like Ton said, any day in the water is a good day. So, <laughs> All right. we'll see how today goes. Okay. Let's get into it. <laughs> There's an unofficial little competition going on. Who can throw up first? Will it be Tuan? Tuan's already dry heaving over here, so I mean, it might be him. He's, he's got his practice starting up, or will it be Eric? And they're my unofficial experiments on the Quell's seasickness pills that I have not tried. We'll see. I'll let you guys know who the winner is. Also, Tuan's got a little competition of his own that he has set up. It's whoever gets the biggest fish gets one point. Whoever gets the most fish gets another point. And then whoever gets the first fish gets one point. So. I mean, we'll see how that goes too. First dive down, I didn't see anything, but there's actually two little crab that I didn't even notice in there. Not too long into the dive, I saw this rockfish swimming around. I was going to take a shot at it, but then I thought, no, it's a bit too small, so I just let it go. Then I checked another hole next to it, and I saw that black and yellow rockfish. The rockfish ended up moving somewhere else, but I was able to track it to its next spot and it didn't even see me coming. By that time, it was already fish tacos. A perfect stone shot. A bit later, I saw this school of barred surf perch and they look pretty cool. Some of them look like a decent size, but I'm not a huge fan of perch, so I left them alone. Throughout the entire dive, I saw so many opali, and as you can see from this video, they were pretty big. They must have been around 18 inches, but I already tried one last time, and I also didn't like it too much, so I just let them go, but they were pretty big. Maybe I should have called Tuan over because he likes those fish. Diving with three people rather than just two was kind of hectic. It was hard to keep track of everyone and also it was hard to do one up one down because that's usually what you do in a buddy system. So it was an interesting dive dynamic. Eric and I ended up doing kind of a haphazard one up one down while Tuan went on his own and explored. It was just a setup that we discussed and talked about. Ideally, we would have four people out. That way each person could be with a buddy. I really like this clip because look how many fish there are. So there's this olive rockfish, that blue rockfish, and then later on when I check this hole, you can see one black and yellow rockfish right there in the back, and then a total of three perch in there. I'm not really quite sure what type of perch those are. Then when I check the next hole, you can see that there are some yellow tail rockfish in there. I then set my sights on the biggest of the two yellow tail rockfish that were hiding underneath this rock. I already had two decent sized rockfish, so I decided that the next time I'd pull the trigger, it'd be for a big fish. 
not long after, I saw this probably 14 inch blue rockfish and I decided to take a shot. But here I am, unprepared. A total miss, total miss. Sometimes when I rush these shots because I'm trying to turn the safety off and I don't want the fish to get away, it's a horrible shot. Then I spotted this rock crab, which was pretty cool. I see a lot of these, but I never collect them anymore. Tuan wasn't too interested in taking it either, so it lived to see another day. Tuan waved me over and let me know that he saw a huge school of big blue rockfish, so we headed over to the deeper end of the pool to hunt some blue rockfish. But by the time we got over, the big fish he saw were long gone. Since Tuan's GoPro died, I decided to take a video of all of his fish. He has plenty of rockfish, two monkey face eels, and this huge sheep head. It was pretty insane. I've never seen a sheep head in real life, and apparently it just swam right past him. So he was able to just take a shot at it. And if you guys want to check out his channel, I'll leave his YouTube in the description below. We had been diving for around 3 hours and we were going to cut the dive pretty short because both Eric and Tuan had something to do that day and Eric ended up leaving first. I got have that good? Okay, well, uh, just let me know when you want your fish. Not too long after, I had another dive buddy, except this one was more interested in stealing my fish. I saw a couple more rockfish, but because I already had two on the smaller side, I didn't take the shot on them. On one of my last dives down, I was trying to check out that rockfish in the corner of the screen, but then something else caught my eye. I saw this huge fish, and at the time, I thought that it was a cabezon because its head was so huge and it swam exactly like a cabezon. I knew I had it pinned down, cornered in this hole, so I went back up, called Tuan over, and I let him know that if I missed this fish and it swam away, that it was free game. So with him backing me up, I went down and tried to take a shot in this little hole. It turned out to be this huge rockfish, so big that even with the double bands on my 75 centimeter gun, at such a close range, the spear shaft didn't go all the way through its head. This rockfish was enormous and it totally made the dive worth it. It's always awesome catching these big fish. Okay, you guys, pretty successful dive. Uh, Tuan caught the most fish. I think I caught the biggest fish and he caught the first fish and Did you throw up Tuan? No. So neither Eric or Tuan threw up. So both lost that competition and Tuan won the fish competition so This is what I caught. That last fish you saw me get was this big huge Brass bass And as you can see I got one of my rockfish stuck in its mouth and I couldn't get it out so you guys will have to just imagine what that one looked like. It wasn't too big. The large rockfish just makes the other ones look tiny. All right, and then this is Tuan's catch. Tuan actually got the catch of the day with this sheep head. Check that out. <laughs> All right. How are you feeling about the dive? It was good. It was really good. Today's this was not so bad either. Um, it looks like we did well closer to the shore than out there. We did, you know, saw a school blue, but uh, for some reason we keep lost losing track of where they are. So we decided to go back to shore and hey, look where we land. Yep, I know. Tuan, Tuan had quite a day. I still can't believe he got that sheep head. Check this We're out. We're gonna need though. to Check come back. Look at this one. Oh, and then oh, he, he loves his monkey face eels. It's a monster one, too. Look yeah, at that. that is a big one. All right, I'll probably update at the house with the measurements. But that's it for the dive. So we have a 10 and 3 quarters rockfish, a 12 inch rockfish, and an 18 inch rockfish. And the crazy thing is look at the size difference between just 
six inches more. It's just huge. Mission success. And now we are off. Tuan's got a shoot to go to. And I am actually on my first day of summer, so I have some videos to edit. I literally have like nine videos I have to edit back at home. And in every single one of these last videos, you're probably gonna hear me talking about how many videos I have to edit. Cause that's just how it's been. And I have not gone home yet. I've been kind of just staying in San Jose, coming down to Monterey and staying like elsewhere other than Davis. But once I get home, I have that new iMac so I can edit all those videos. But they, it's been pretty cool. I should be going kayaking with Eric. I think I mentioned that in the last video, but I mean, it's gonna happen.